Hi guys, welcome to Atita Family, Atita Fitness, Atita Adventure. Yeah, so today, before I go there, if you're new here, kindly consider subscribing to this channel, share, comment, and thank you. And you're, if you are a returning subscriber, thanks a lot. You're the reason why I'm doing all this. So today we are going to dive in into my second week of observation in America. So yeah, we're going to talk about <coughs> food transport, uh, daily living, time management and jobs, all those five points. I'm going to try as much as I can to take only seven minutes of your time. So let's dive in into the topics. I'm sorry if I'm looking down a lot. I'm sorry about that. I'm trying to read the points that I wrote here. Yeah. So, yeah, let's talk about uh, let's talk about food. My observation is that uh, Americans are more diverse when it comes to food uh, compared to us in Africa, where we are used to our local food. Here, you can find all types of food depending on the number of. Um, people are living there from all kind of uh, states or like continents yeah we have where i live right now we have a lot of uh, chinese food we have uh, mexican food american food uh, spanish food we have italian food so there are, there are a lot of varieties of food so um, uh, if you're coming here for sure don't be don't worry about like what are you going to eat they have a lot of varieties of food. We don't have a lot of African food here. I haven't seen any restaurant, an African restaurant. And I think it's because we don't have like um, a lot of Africans in this state. Maybe that's why. But there might, there may be one or two outside there. Yeah, so, so far I like Mexican food. It's more like uh, African. So I'm okay with that. And again, another thing is that like uh, if you love junk food, for sure they have a lot of them. If you don't watch your um, healthy eating uh, plan or like something that will guide you on the kind of food that you will eat, you might end up eating a lot of junk every time. Yeah. So let's talk about uh, transport. My observation is that like uh, America's a good and like uh, very great mode of transport. Yeah. Uh, they don't have like traffic congestions. People drive very well, carefree, and they follow traffic lights and they traffic rules very well um roads are very well maintained yeah uh the one thing that is so impressive about them they have a lot of cars you find a family of two people but they have like four cars or five but there are no traffic congestions like the ones that we have and <clears throat> we have just few people who have cars outside there but we have uh, a lot of traffic i think it's because of the our maintenance of our roads and the, the way they are made here roads are very well maintained and they very well structured systematically <laughs> let's talk about daily living daily living i want to talk about how people interact with each other i think um they're more cold here and we are more hyper yeah we talk whatever you want you if you want to make noise on the street you can do that if you want to do whatever you want to comment on someone's business someone is working there you can do it but here i think people are cold and they, they mind their business people are this focused on their own business mostly as much as we have a few people maybe uh, but i think a good number of them they just mind their business they do whatever they want to do yeah uh yeah what else daily living i think we are more of um, uh, like greeting each other we do that a lot in africa yeah it doesn't happen a lot but again people here appreciate a lot like even if you do anything small they're like thank you uh they say that a lot a lot and for us we just assume we think that like it's normal someone giving you telling you you've dropped a pen or something you will pick it without even saying thanks or anything like that so uh, that's uh, the difference here and they eat varieties of food uh, They do different activities. They have a lot of creative activities, especially on the weekends Yeah Which we don't 
we don't have a lot you just chill at home and uh, watch or like go outside their love with your friends so let's go to time management i think americans have a very nice system of uh, time management if someone says that they are going to be there in 10 minutes or 20 minutes they mean that they will be less or before like after or before maybe of uh, one minute or two minutes when i saw when i saw fika mapema or or fika late kidogo for only maybe one minute or two <clears throat> but in uh, africa or in kenya where i come from if someone says that they are going to be there in the next 10 minutes sometimes they mean 20 or 30. so i think that's one thing that i must be very careful about because you know we are used to our system and it's absorbed in our blood so that's a demon that I want to fight from my body right now because I think Americans have that rule which says time is money and here they work uh, with time here. Yeah. They work by hours. You are getting paid by the hours that you're going to work. So I think they value time a lot where we don't. So that's something great about them. I think we should look into that because of their well-maintained roads like you can access anywhere within a short time they have a lot of uh, drive through like you don't have to get out of your car you can just drive and get the food through the window <laughs> those restaurants that they call drive through and then uh, if you don't go to the gym you just end up sleeping from your house going to work sitting there all day sitting in your car and all around like that goes all around so that's kind of lazy <laughs> if you're a lazy person that's kind of a culture you will adapt here yeah so let's go into jobs uh talking about jobs they have a lot of hirings each time they have a lot of people hiring uh they have a lot of jobs they like uh, when you're driving around you will be seeing signs saying that we are hiring we are looking for empro employees you know where areas like where i come from if you see a sign post saying we are hiring if it's not like a, a government sponsored ad but sometimes those are con men those are people who want to take money from your pockets uh, pretending that they want to give you jobs because you know we have a lot of people are looking for jobs so you cannot advertise just look for your family member or like a friend who wants to work because we have an, a lot of unemployed people but here they have a lot of jobs that people are looking or like many people don't want to work i don't know but they have a lot of hiring here a lot a lot and the good thing i like about them is that they have a minimum wage pay where you like a, a gov the government has set uh laws or laws that like um the minimum amount that someone is supposed to be paid if they are working in your company this amount so uh because you know the government cares about their own people and they know that these people are paying bills these people are going to pay taxes and all where areas where I come from like the government doesn't care if you have a job you want employees you just want to pay them the way you want and even if you pay badly you always get people who will work for you and again people don't pay taxes <laughs> i think in kenya almost like 20 percent of the people are the ones who pay taxes and those are the people who have like high jobs or like businesses yeah but these other people most of them they don't i think 12 percent but here i think it's 90 percent so yeah those are my observation for my second week living here in america for sure i'm going to come up with more but if you have a question comment down below i will answer it i will do more research and see how i can answer or i can ask you know so yeah subscribe to this channel share comment like guys stay here don't go anywhere see you on the next one